I think it's a moment where finally what we've been talking about um, likely to happen has happened. Kia Garino, executive director of Pro-Choice Washington, released this statement last night saying our fears were founded. In her response, she says she wasn't surprised. I think it was still pretty gut-wrenching to read the language. She says the leaked draft opinion demonstrates the court's readiness to overturn a half century of legal precedent. And we need to understand that everybody is impacted by this decision, not just women or not just activists, but really the whole country. In Linwood, Next Step Pregnancy Services provides prenatal care for women facing unplanned pregnancies. Heather Vasquez is the executive director. Uh, because we're pro-life, we believe that the baby uh, deserves to have a chance and we're here to help them if they choose that. We don't profit from any choice they make, so they may come here and get an ultrasound and then leave and we don't see them again. Or they decide to receive the free services here. When it comes to Washington State overall, Vasquez says this. Washington has always been a, a pro-choice state, so nothing really will change here that I expect. I think it's easy sometimes to be, especially in Western Washington, and feel like, oh, we're good here. Like, we have the care we need. You know, we know we can access that. But even within our state, and we may be a safety net state, but our safety net has holes. That's why she says this is the moment to mobilize. I think, you know, it's, it's a conversation about abortion rights, but it's really a conversation about rights in general. In Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.